Okay. Right. It's gonna be hard because we're not on the same side of the table to get us both. Oh, that's right. You're prettier than I am. <laughs> I wish I could do it sideways. It doesn't. Doesn't all count. Okay, I'll lean in. Uh, I'll lean in. Yeah. If you lean in, it's still. We should be sitting on the same side. Can you get in there? Let me do it this way. Okay. Oh, that's right. Should we just do it? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I'll be well, off camera <laughs> we're here at Riley's Farm, and I know everybody's here because they want, they're tuning in because you want to know about the food. So the food is period. Um, it, they're scratch made here on the premises, farm to table mostly. Um, I'm going to turn the camera so you can see the owner. No, I want you to talk about the menu because we're going to eat this on live, but I want you to talk about your menu. All right. Um, the food here is good. I did a TV show here about three or four years ago, and the food was memorable to me. And so we've ordered, I'm going to put this back so you can see the food. Um, I've uh, picked some of the things that I remember being memorable. They have a, a very beautiful menu. They're doing breakfast now, uh -huh. uh, Monday through Friday, or weekends, uh, or? Monday through, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday, they're doing breakfast. And um, they have a full menu of uh, wines and beer, and we're going to be doing some apple cider that they make here? Uh, this, this is actually made by my nephew's farm, okay. uh, uh, Devin Riley up at Los Rios. Okay, Devin, I know Devin. Um, so it's local apples and all the food is from the table, which is so cool and so delicious. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera because I can't get everybody in here, uh, but I want to put the focus on the owner, Jim Riley, and he's gonna talk about the menu and just the conception of it. It's just, it's really cool. The menu, the recipes, if I remember correctly, are like, Old the, the, the recipes. I mean, they're like from the 1700s, right? Yeah, the uh, for variety. Uh, this one. This dish right here is uh, basically a Scottish beef pie, and it's based on a traditional recipe. Yeah. We have uh, this is uh, fried fried apples and sausage. This is one of my turn it so favorite can see appetizers you. right here. Fried apples and bratwurst. It's very 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 good. Uh, and then I uh, we have a great bratwurst sandwich. I, I order it without the bread sometimes. It's, believe it or not, it's, it's underneath all of that, and it's really great. It's bratwurst inside of sort of a cheese sauce. Really good. We actually have uh, our own fried potato chips here. We make uh, fresh for every order. This is our signature item here. This is a chicken pot pie. Uh, Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at the crust on this. Day. It's a really, really, really great chicken pot pie. We're going to open it up and Look at the steam. Can you see that, you guys? Huge chunks of chicken in there. And we're going to eat this on camera. Look at the carrots. Look at these carrots. I mean, they're amazing. I know, right, Mike? I mean... Oh, and uh, oh. Don't, we don't want to miss this. No, we don't want to miss this. We have two things. So what is this? That is an apple dumpling. That's a Granny Smith apple, very large Granny Smith apple, cored with brown sugar. Uh, covered with pastry and then covered with caramel. Salted caramel. Salted caramel. And then we have one more dessert, which is what is this? That, that's a salted caramel apple pie. Salted caramel apple pie. O M G. So I'm gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and just we're gonna eat. We're gonna let you guys just kind of hang out, and we're gonna talk about the food a little bit more. Um, the reason I wanted to come up here, yes, it's a really cool, like, historical day. I'm in the costume to be silly. You don't have to wear a costume to come here. I'll, I'll turn around. Look at this bonnet. I am rocking this bonnet, huh? Um, you know, people come up here for the historical value. They love to see the reenactments. Um, they have apple picking. That's amazing. I'm going to take some apples home today, and I'm going to be doing some cooking later on tonight. So tune in later on tonight. I'll do Facebook Live. I'm going to do a video with the apples. Um, but it's the food is good. It's this restaurant is is good enough that you would come up here just for the food, and that's really why I wanted to feature it. Is I think people don't realize that they have an amazing restaurant, and we're calling it Hawks. The Hawks Head Public House. Hawks Head Public House. I always want to say Hawks Head or Boar's Head. I always forget about it. Hawks Head Public House. We have live music on Saturday. Live, and I have been here. They have live music. They have a fireplace, and I'm gonna show you guys before I leave, like a walk around that you see. But everything in here is period. Um, if you'll notice, I have a pewter mug that is like ice cold, like you can't even hardly touch it, it's so cold. Um, you can see that there's a real, ow, I burned my head. There's a real candle, I don't know if you can see it, burning in there. So it's, this 
I mean, this is authentic. Like, everything in here is period. The furniture is, um, the menu items are, the waitresses are all dressed, you know, in period clothing. And um, it, it's, it's a fun experience, but the food, the food is that good. So, um, breakfast. Breakfast and lunch. And do you and serve it to a certain time, like breakfast ends at a certain time, or can you get it all uh, day? Breakfast starts at 8 o'clock on Saturdays. 8 o'clock on Saturdays. 11 o'clock. Okay. The lunch menu starts about 10.30 or so. Okay. And it goes through about 6 o'clock during the Saturday uh, okay. harvest. Or okay. And then we have uh, dinners uh, by, uh, by pre-purchase okay. in, in November and December. So events. So I am going to come back and do, they do a Christmas event, they have a fall event. I'm going to come back and do one because um, I did the masquerade, the picture that I posted uh, uh, earlier yesterday um, was me in costume for uh, they did like what was it called a masquerade ball? Uh, that was a summer, summer masquerade ball. Yeah. And I've done um, Sherlock Holmes dinner in the back, which was super fun, and that was also included at dinner. It was really nice, good food. Um, so they have a lot of events, and I would highly suggest it's a great date night. It's fun. We came with a couple um, different uh, couples from my husband's uh, police department when we came. So there's a lot of really fun things to do here, and. I, this isn't our, like if you live in the Inland Empire, or even if you're not, it's close. And it's a completely different environment up here in Oak. Guys, my phone was ringing. But I want you guys to see the food. I'm gonna show you really quickly, and then I'll come back right before I leave just to show you a pan of the restaurant, just so you get a feel of how authentic it is. And I'm gonna get out of this silly costume, but it's fun for a while, but I'm not gonna be able to eat because I'm really cinched in here, but wanted to do it for fun. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you see some of the food. So we're just gonna kind of eat and taste it and go around. So you have your own pork, I'll have mine. We'll, we'll be as clean, clean as possible. So, so this is, so what kind of sausage are you getting? Bratwurst. Bratwurst, okay. And apples from the farm. It's salty, it's tart, it's sweet. That hits all the points. Kind of a meal by itself, even though it's an appetizer. It's, it, this is an app. Now, this is this a full serving? Because I think you had told them to. Yeah, they give us a full okay. serving. Okay, yeah. I'm glad they did because I want you to see how big this is. What's the price for this? Uh. <laughs> Here, can I get it back to you? Yeah, I want to. The prices are really good for this kind of That's fresh. Ten dollars. Okay, ten dollars. This is a lot of food. This is definitely you guys could get this in an appetizer or a meal itself. Um, I'm going to be doing a recipe that's uh, sausage and apples as well, so I'll be showing you how to make something similar to this, but this one is really, really good. It's a little sweeter, um, but it's also got the tang involved in it, so it's perfect. Okay. Try the chicken pot pie now. The chicken pot pie. So this is one of, this is probably your most popular thing, yeah. wouldn't you say? So look at this crust. I mean, it's flaky. You see the steam coming off of that. Look at that. Is that amazing? I don't want to burn my mouth, but... Oh my gosh. Seriously, it's so flaky. The flavorful, big pieces of chicken, carrots. I mean, if you like pot pie, and this is the season. Lots of stringy chicken, I love it. It's, it's perfect. I mean, it's... I wish I could describe the flavor, other than to say it's absolutely amazing. It's creamy, you can taste the herbs in it. It has a little acid, it almost almost like a lemony flavor in the background. It's really, really delicious. Um, I'm just gonna pick up one of these little baby carrots and show you guys. These are honey roasted or maple? I think it's maple. You guys, these are perfection. They're like, they're like candy. Maybe they really are like candy. And then is this applesauce? Yeah, those are homemade applesauce. Okay. And this comes with everything, right? Did you get a little sample of this? So, I don't know if you guys can see how, I mean, this alone is dessert. Is it a double crust? Um, no. Is it? Oh, it is. It's a double crust. I just ate the bottom of it, so I couldn't see it. That, by far, is the best chicken pot pie ever. But the applesauce is great. It has cinnamon in it. It's chunky. It's not too sweet. This alone is a treat. 
Okay, so we're going to move on. Some of that, uh, you want to try yeah. the Scottish meat pie? Yeah. So this is a Scottish meat pie. Now there's a story behind this I remember from the TV show. Yeah. The recipe's from... It's from a 17th century, I'm sorry, 18th century fort in Ohio where the French uh, made these Scottish meat pies. Okay, so this is a, like an authentic recipe. You're going to come this weekend? Yay! Want to be fun? So this is um, what I call a pasty, uh, which is just a meat pie. And these are like the best thing for fall and winter. These pies are amazing. Um, looks like there's shredded meat in here. I don't know if you guys can see. With the gravy. Savory. So flavorful. Our side there is a fried green bean. Basically, we, the, green, the beans go on the grill, the fried. I always tell people that if my mom fried more vegetables, I probably would have learned it like Oh my gosh. They're delicious. There's garlic in here. So good. They are fried, um, but delicious. So, so good. And the meat pie, I'm telling you, the crust is perfection. And you've got people here baking uh, all kinds of desserts. Time, yeah. They have a little walk-up window that you, if you don't feel like coming in or you don't want to brush your hair, like me, you just come here and you can walk up to the window and you can take these pies to go, take them home. If you're like, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Just come by and get some pies and take them home. They make a family size chicken pie. Oh, they make a family size. How much is that? Do you know? I don't know. That's okay. I'm putting them on the spot. But the prices are good. Where's my napkin? I'm like, I lost it. I'm going to try a little of this bratwurst here, too. Okay. I'm going to let you do it. This is the sauce, and the bratwurst is just really good. So I'm going to just pull this up. I don't know if you guys can see. The lighting isn't great in here. But there's bratwurst that looks like it's split, and then there's cheese, and it looks like... Um, is that onions? Yeah, grilled onions. Grilled onions. And then it's top, it's top of the rugula, which I love. Do you need reservations, they're asking, when they come to eat? Yeah, on Saturdays, it's about an hour and a half wait. Uh, Do you take reservations? No, we don't. Okay, they don't take reservations. So um, I would say any busy place, especially up as it gets closer to winter, um, come early. That's what I suggest, because not everybody likes to get up super early. So if you're coming on the weekend for breakfast, I would be here like right early in the morning. That's That would be my recommendation. The early bird gets the worm or the caramel pie. We page you, so if you want to walk the orchards, we page you, you know, oh, the table. perfect. There's plenty to do here. Maybe put some string cheese in your purse so if you're hungry, you can gnaw on that while you're waiting or some jerky. Um, they'll give you a pager, you put your name in, you can walk around. You can I mean, throw tomahawks, you can do archery. Tomahawks? You can candles, you can make corn nuts dolls. Uh, there's a lot of stuff for kids to do Okay, so it is perfect for kids. Now this is weekends only though, these activities. Sorry. Saturdays, okay. So come early, put your name in, they'll give you a pager, you can walk around the grounds. And I would suggest staying for lunch as well. Do breakfast and lunch because it's that good. But here, he's going to go ahead and do the uh, sausage, the uh, bratwurst. Um, it's got a, it's got a I'm cheese. Try a little bit of this here. This is okay. Here, I'm just going to. Mm. So it looks like it's got a little caramelized red onion. It's got some sort of sauce, which I will tell you about in a minute. Cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. And, um, oh my gosh, it's actually honey mustard on there. So there's a really delicious. Can you, look, can you tell us on, on the uh, bratwurst, what is our sauce? Is that a, a uh, so, so, yeah, so it's the same cheese sauce that we use in our macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, all natural cheese. But then there's a honey mustard on it. And here. a honey mustard yeah. as well. Yeah. So just, and the carrots, are they, is that maple or honey? Uh, it's a honey, um, it's orange and honey and juice. Yeah. So, again, I love salty sweet. So, this really um, hits all the notes, and the arugula is peppery and fresh. Try one of the chips too. We actually uh... I have to chew. I believe they open at nine. Um, you said eight, right? Or eight? What time do you open? Eight or nine? Eight o'clock on Saturdays. Nine o'clock weekdays. Okay. So uh, you're right. It's nine o'clock on the weekdays, but Saturday is eight o'clock. So if you're coming on the week on Saturday, I'd show up here at like seven forty-five. <laughs> Get in line. I have not had a potato chip. My favorite thing on the planet since June 6th. Here we go. Fresh made here. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be eating these all down the mountain. 
crispy, crunchy, perfect uh, density. Cut right away. All right. This is going to be what everybody's talking about. What is this called again, sir? It is an apple dumpling. Apple dumpling. Hello. It's a Granny Smith apple, poured, filled with brown sugar, covered with pastry, baked, and then covered with caramel. And then sprinkled with some salt, some flaked salt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in. It's, it's tender, and these are the apples from here, from your farm. So I'm gonna go in, I just wanna get a bite of everything. We've got the caramel sauce, I want a little bit of salt. Everybody was telling me I have to get these. The small, cinnamon roll, they have a cinnamon roll? Oh, I gotta try a cinnamon roll. You guys, oh my gosh. I'm in love. If you know me, you know I love cake. But I mean, put a birthday candle on this and just call it a day. This is super tender on the inside. The apple still is a little tart. So it's not overwhelmingly, sickingly sweet. The caramel sauce is buttery and the salt kind of, again, elevates it so it's not so like sickeningly sweet. And then there's that perfect pastry crust that they're using on everything else, the pot pies and all the pasties. That is love in a bowl. But now that I don't have a cinnamon roll, I'm bringing one. Okay. And last but not least, this is a salted caramel. caramel apple pie. So I would assume this is going to be the same profile as the pop, pretty much. Okay. A little bit more salt in this. A little bit more salt. Okay. Do you do holiday pies? Can people order holiday pies? Yes. Holiday pies. I'm ordering holiday pies. I'm telling you right now. Look at this. Can you imagine this at your Thanksgiving table? Salted caramel apple pie. Mm. Okay, this is different. This is almost, this is chewy. It's kind of caramely, like fudgy, if you will. It has a beautiful salted finish. It's sweeter than the than the what is that called the puff? The apple dumpling. Apple dumpling. It's chewy. This is magnificent. I'm ordering these for for my uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my gosh, you guys! This pie. This pie is life. That right here is perfection. I know you guys all want these. Now you can order this. I guess he said if you want to order them ahead of time. Do you prepay? Okay. You can do online. Or um, on Thanksgiving week, we have a, a big online page ready for all of you. Tell them your online website. Uh, Riley'sFarm.com. Riley'sFarm.com. Okay. Now there's a lot of Riley's Farms, and I know I get confused. So how do they know it's you? Uh, well, basically, Riley's Farm, R-I-L-E-Y-S-F-A-R-M.com. Or 790-TIME, 909-790-TIME. Okay, so that's the way to find it. Um, I've tagged them in all of these videos from today, so if you want to just go ahead and take the save the tag. Um, I would order the pies. I'm ordering the pies for sure, because that, like, nobody has that pie. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. Um, many of you know I'm a food critic. I've been eating in restaurants all over. And that's that's bomb right there. I mean, that's like perfection for your, and it's so fall. It's perfect for Christmas or for, for the fall or for any day, for today. I, you know, any day it's good. All right, I'm going to tune out so that I can enjoy this food. Um, I'll come back one more time before I leave. I want to just do a quick pan and show you everything else that's going on. I'm going to be coming back and actually cooking with them at a later date. Um, they do have some uh, vegan and vegetarian op options that they're uh, exploring. And they're always working on their menus, so I want to come in and go into the kitchen. And Lizzie is your daughter, and she's in charge of the whole restaurant uh, aspect of here. She has a real gift for food. So I want to come in and cook with her, and we're going to discuss uh, more of the ingredients. They have uh, animals here and, and so forth, so we'll get more deeper into that another time. There's just so much going on, and I have kids to pick up at school. So I want you guys to uh, bookmark the location. Come back. Enjoy the meal here. It's delicious. You will not be disappointed, I guarantee you. And it's fun for your kids. I mean, it really is. If you, and even if you don't, I mean, I'm having a ball. So um, if you didn't see all the videos, go back on my page. I'm going to put them on YouTube, Foodie Princess, and you can watch the videos, the reenactment one, me getting dressed in the period clothes. 
I'm gonna ditch this hat. I don't think it's a good look for me, but um, it's just a super, super fun uh, date. Real quickly before we go, tell me about the events that are coming up. There's the fall one and Christmas. In November we have the Harvest Feast that takes place on Friday and Saturday nights in the tavern at night. Okay. It's a period play plus a period dinner. Celebration of 18th century Thanksgiving okay. in New Hampshire. And what, the dates for that are what? Uh, Friday and Saturday nights in November. Basically. Okay, so Friday and Saturday in November. Do you know the cost of it? So that, I don't think, 45 to 55 dollars depending on... And that includes the meal? Yeah. Okay, so forty-five to fifty-five dollars to come. You're gonna get fed. The food is good. You get to play. It's totally Thanksgiving. You'll love it. And the next one's Christmas. I'm totally coming to that. And then Christmas events will sell out early, so buy your tickets about thirty days ahead of time. But we have Christmas Carol celebration of the Dickens Christmas Carol at the Packing Shed. That's a sort of a family event. A lot of uh, dancing and games and uh, Christmas carols. And then we do Christmas in the colonies in this tavern. Here. Okay. Friday and Saturday nights in December, okay. and uh, that's a that's a period event. We have all the servers for 18th century clothing. We do uh, 18th century games. And we have a, a short play and a, a, a seven course Virginia colonial Christmas meal. Okay, he got me a seven course <laughs> meal. So, that, do you know how much that one is? That's a, in the $55 to $60 range. That's a deal. I'm telling you right now. I mean, the, that doesn't even cover the food costs right there. So it's a seven-course meal and an event. It's totally Christmassy. Brings you to the spirit of the holidays. So um, I'm going to come back and do that one. So if you guys want to join me, we can pick a date and maybe I'll come. But we want to pre-buy the tickets ahead of time so that they don't sell out. But I think that would be a really fun holiday to kind of get, you know, kick off the season. So go to their website. What is it again? Riley'sFarm.com. Riley'sFarm.com. I believe there's a schedule on there for all the events, all the hours for the restaurant and so forth are on there. And if you have any questions, just drop the remarks below and I'll message you back. But um, you know me, I think by now to know that I'm not going to promote anything that I don't think is great. I think the food, the reason I wanted to come here is I think the food is that good. I, it was memorable. I did a TV show here three, four years ago and I still remember some of the menu items and that's... With the amount of food that I eat, that's pretty amazing that I still remember the food. And it's as good as I remembered, if not better. So, um, and nobody has this kind of food. That's the thing. If you want something different, this is where you come. So, I'm going to tune out now. Um, yep, he does a lot. Somebody's saying you did a great talk at your historical society meeting. You did a talk at a, at a historical meeting, he was saying. Yeah, he's, he's so knowledgeable. I mean, he's a scholar. He's, his mind just blows me away. I'm always like, huh? <laughs> But I loved, I love conversation here, and I love everything about the farm. So if you guys want to come, you should come, and the food alone is worth it. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to eat.